Hello everyone. Today we have with us Aditya Raj, who has secured admission at IIT Kanpur for M Tech. So he is a BS degree student, and today we'll be having a conversation with him, and uh, we'll be getting to know a lot of tips and insights from him about the BS degree and how M Tech aspirants who want to really go uh, into IITs or top institutes for their masters, they can have great insights from him. So hello, Aditya Raj. Uh, can we have an introduction of you? Uh, I am Aditya Raj. I am from Basali district. Bihar, and yes. I have recently completed BS degree. Okay. And currently, I enroll in uh, M Tech in uh, Signal Processing and Communication in IIT Kanpur. So you have completed your BS degree, yeah, okay. all the levels of BS degree. Yeah, yeah, I have completed just last term. When did you enroll into the IIT MBS degree? Oh, uh, I was in the first term in uh, January two thousand twenty-one. So, yes. like in twenty twenty-one back then, like how did you come to know about the degree? Ah, uh, I know it about it from my friend, one of my friend who study in uh, NIT Patna. He was doing okay. some NPTEL course, uh, so it uh, he got it in the uh, his mail about the program. Okay, so you got it uh, through a friend. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, like, how has the journey been of the IIT MBS degree? Any major highlights you would like to share, right, from twenty twenty one to twenty twenty four? In the beginning, I was not uh, sure about uh, whether I am going to complete it or not. Uh, for that reason, I was also enroll uh, enroll in off campus degree. Okay. Uh, uh, but uh, when I see this program and the curriculum and uh, when I when uh, when I go into a diploma. Hmm? then i just uh, leave that off campus degree and uh, okay so you had enrolled earlier at an offline degree can you like share your experience with that and why you decided to pursue this degree full time off campus degree was uh, in the local bihar government college okay and the problem with that degree was that uh, there was a uh, no uh, faculty available in that college and right. there's no serious study hmm. but i i want to learn something and it was just a waste of time there so i think it was better to just so coming to the iit madras bs degree what is your course feedback like uh, since you have completed all the four levels foundation was very easy for me okay. because uh, it was just uh, uh, mathematics and stats of 11 12 expect except uh, stats 2 okay uh, so it was uh, easy and uh, in the diploma diploma okay. was very good uh, because uh, we okay. get to we introduced into the programming and uh, the yes. web development and everything coding so diploma was nice and in the degree yeah degree is also fine because uh, you get some of the courses like deep learning that is very crucial if you want to uh, build your career in a uh, right. machine learning profile yeah so very all, true. all these things are very fine we also have a lot of like extra curricular stuff like uh, societies clubs even like we have meetups and paradox going so uh, did you participate in any of these i previously partic- participated in a weekly meeting something like that but uh, i did not participate in any of the uh, program all right so in which year did you start preparing for mtech and when did you know basically that you want to go ahead for mtech how was that journey I I just started uh, preparing for it uh, when I was doing internship in Chennai. Okay. Uh, just last year, uh, in the August September something like that. Mm. I got it know from one of my friend who told me that uh, Gate is also going to uh, introduce a new paper in uh, DA. Yes. DA and AI. So we should uh, consider to give it. I was not sure that whether I will be. Uh, complete or not but when yes. i look into the syllabus uh, at first i think that uh, everything i have already learned in this program so yeah. i just okay. have i just have to revise everything so i did revise in uh, three four months and then i just gave the examination since a lot of students uh, of the iit and bs degree they are also you know gate aspirants they are also looking forward to uh, giving the gate data science and ai exam if you would like to emphasize on how the syllabus of gate and uh, the course structure of iit and bs can help the preparation of gate yeah i i had just learned whatever from this course only so uh, for stats to maths to Eight question uh, similar to the uh, you know uh, quiz and interim exam question. So I just solve all the interim question, quiz question. So if you want to uh, pass gate examination, just focus on the course curriculum and machine learning. Everything we just you don't have to learn from uh, any other thing. Just 
focus on course so basically the course work of iit mbs is good enough for the preparation of gate right yeah 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 all right how does it feel when you get into an institute like iit kanpur for mtech and what are your uh, future thoughts like any further aspirations i never thought that i will ever go to yeah. iit yeah so so like you are majoring right now in signal processing right if i'm not yeah, wrong signal, yeah yeah i'm taking signal processing yeah okay so can you elaborate on that field no uh, i have talked to many senior who is currently studying there so mm-hmm. they told me that uh, you will get many courses you have to just uh, two courses are mandatory uh, uh, one is mathematics and stats and yeah other courses you can take any of the courses and you will get enough courses from machine learning so i'm i'm planning to build my profile in machine learning so okay. i will i will i'm going to take only that courses okay okay that's so it, is, it is easy it is very it is easy to build profile in machine learning there in, in particularly in this course signal processing and communication and there's also many professor in ml domain in this department right right if you were to give any uh, suggestion to students who are currently enrolled in the bs degree program i think uh, one suggestion is very uh, mandatory and i think it is enough that uh, just, just solve the graded uh, assignment by yourself yeah yeah solve the graded assignment by yourself because i have seen many students just copying pasting the assignment and they faced loss of trouble in the quiz basically problem solving is something that is really important right yeah yeah solve the assignment by yourself and i think it's enough right and coming to gate exam uh, data science and uh, ai what is the exam pattern and how was the exam experience for you oh examination is totally uh, uh, you know it's uh, dependent on time management hmm. so i actually i had covered everything but still i get uh, uh, no uh, this paper was introduced first time so we we didn't have any you uh, know mock test something like that yes but okay. i think from the from the next year there will be many mock test available so yeah. just uh, give uh, more and more mock test and uh, focus on time management uh, because time management is very crucial in this type of exam so yeah, if you can suggest some very important uh, topics or courses from the bs degree that can be important for gate exams yeah if you look into the syllabus of gate uh, it's a uh, uh dbms ml uh stats uh mathematics uh or dsa hmm ai everything is from uh, from our courses so these are the important thing so you should uh, focus on a message for students of iit madras bs degree or any important points or skills maybe you want to share with them if you want to build good career in the this ml ai domain so i think you should have master degree Okay. So I think you should consider giving gate examination because okay. I learned I learned it that uh, from my internship uh, from the all the managers they told me that uh, that master the master degree from good institute is very crucial for the ML right. domain. The internship is very crucial for learning uh, because you not only you get uh, uh, know, know about the technical knowledge you will also get to know about what uh, happening. Uh, around in the market around the world it was a great conversation thank you so much for your time and uh, i'm sure the students will get great insights from this conversation thank you so much